Hey, hello everybody. This is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Welcome to week 12 of our um, listings. Every Saturday we come out with new listings for vintage typewriters and this is part of week 12. It is a 1957 Royal Quiet Deluxe, one of my personal favorite brands of typewriters. Uh, this is the Tan Crinkle, but I'll be honest, it has a very um, pinky, uh, mauve-ish look to the tan crinkle. Um, so it never, all the ones that I've seen are actually very pretty. They're more uh, pinky than they are tan, if you ask me. That's just my opinion. But these are fantastic typewriters. I mean, fantastic, love them. So let's go ahead and take a look at this particular one right here we've got our paper holder very nice looking i like these um this has magic margins which means you go to the end and you say oh i don't really want my margin there so you hold down the right margin and move the carriage to where you want it and then release and that it'll set okay now if you're coming in further you just press, okay? But if you wanna go out, you gotta hold the margin and then release the carriage. And there, it's set there, okay? Same with the left side. You wanna move it out, move it out, release. And um, there you have it. And if you wanna bring it in, just press, okay? And I like to bring mine in, so press. All right. So now I have my margin. It's really narrow. Now to release the carriage, like I just did, there's a, a metal lever right behind the rollers and you just press it in, doesn't matter which side. And now the carriage is only gonna move as far as you have the margin set. Now you hear this bell, and that bell tells you, hey, you're at the end of your line, you need to hit your return handle. And so the return handle, here's your line selector. It's gonna advance one, two, or three lines, depending on what you want. Now, if you get there and that bell goes off and you're in the middle of a word, well, then you just come down here, hit margin release, and then you can keep going. All right, voila. All right, let's keep this over to the left. I'm gonna pop open the top with that little button. You'll see this touch control that just determines how hard these type bars are gonna strike your paper. You just put it where you prefer. Oops. And I just went all the way over. There you go. All right, here, and here we have a universal ribbon. All of our typewriters come with brand new ribbons. If you need a new ribbon for your typewriter, please visit jotantillotypewriters.com. By the way, please give us a thumbs up for this video while you're listening. It doesn't cost you anything. It takes a half a second. Just hit that thumbs up. Thanks so much. Okay, so when you, time to put in a new ribbon, these just pop out and pop back in. They literally just set in here. Now there is a little um, metal pin that sticks up. You see the big one in the middle, but there's a small one and that goes into one of these four holes. And that's what actually turns your spool. So when you first put it in, it might sit on top of there and then well, it might already pop down, but then it'll pop down on it. Okay, black on top, red on bottom. Make sure it's threaded through the guide wires on each side and then in the middle. Please visit the product listing link in the description below because when you do that, you can uh, pop through the images and you'll find an up close photo of this area. Bookmark that or save that image so that you can um, reference that when it's time to change your spool. Now, when you get to the end of the spool, it's not the end of the ink and the ribbon, you reverse the direction. Our ribbons need to be manually reversed and you do that right here. And it's very slight, just back and forth, back and forth, okay? So that's how it works. You'll reverse that many times. How do you know when it's time to be reversed? Well, at the beginning, you're gonna need a little help knowing you're, it's gonna stop typing and stick on you or you're gonna notice your font's really faint. That tells you that it's time to reverse the direction of your ribbon. But after a while, once you start getting used to your, um, your uh, typewriter, you're gonna feel as you're typing, you're just gonna feel something. You're gonna be like, oh, and then you just reverse the ribbon. All right, voila. Okay, um, color selector. And let me put this up again. And this has the red background on the Royal logo. 
color selector there's red black white white will you'll never use white that means stencil and um, if you keep it on white it's not gonna actually type very well so you have to have it on black or red at all times okay let's go ahead and load a piece of paper and see how this types so you just set that there pull it through turn it through with the roller handle make sure because underneath that bar and I like to bring it up to make sure it's even. And this is slightly uneven. And so what I do is over here on the right side, pull that forward. That releases the tension on the paper. So you can straighten it out. Make sure you re-engage. Okay, let's go ahead and do our typing. This is a 1957. Oh, I love their Royal Quiet Deluxe. It's just a fabulous machine. And I really like the tombstone keys. They're so named because they're in the shape of a tombstone. Let's go ahead and test everything out. Um, oh, tabs. I didn't tell you about the tabs. So the tabs. Hold on. Let me take this out and I'll show you the tabs. Oh, they're not in there, so they must be under here. There they are. Okay, all that for nothing. I can never remember if they're on the back or up here. Um, press and drag your tabs. Okay, very, very easy. Nice place to keep them hidden. Okay, let's reload that paper, and this will, this will bring up a really good point for us. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it's even. But let's say you want to line it back up just right. Actually, it looks like it did. It did, oh my goodness. But it just in case it hadn't, that was, that was pretty awesome. Um, you, there's a button over here. Hold on, a lot of extra things I'm showing you guys today there is a button right here and you press that in and it releases the roller so you can uh, you know, do some fine tune adjusting if you need it. But in this case, I got it to it lined right back up. So let's, whoops, X these out and keep going. All right. Oh, you guys, this is such a really Oops, where did I want? I want the tab. This is a wonderful typewriter. Oh, and see, okay, I didn't load it in the same place I had before. So it is, um, while the lines were fine, but it's further over to the right there. Um, Well, that S is a little sticky. We'll get that taken care of. Sometimes key, uh, keys can get a little stiff or sticky and um, that's normal. Just keep, uh, I have a video under typewriter tips that tells you what to do, how to handle that. It's called uh, Stiff or Sticky Keys and it's underneath the playlist of typewriter tips. Okay, that bell says, hey, you need to hit the return handle, but I'm in the middle of the sentence. I wanna finish the sentence. So I'm gonna hit margin release. There, now I'm done. And we can go to the next line. Let's try the red. Oh, made a mistake. What do you do when you make a mistake? Backspace, but backspace does not erase. You just type over and keep going. Oh my 
my goodness. Wonderful. So the S was sticky, but we'll take care of that. That won't be sticky by the time it ships out. Uh, the typing action on this is really fantastic. Wonderful. This is an excellent machine. Um, Royal Quiet Deluxe are really wonderful for longer projects because um, I have multiple typewriters, but I usually pull out my Quiet Deluxe when I'm looking, gonna be doing like 20, 30 pages because when you hit shift, you have a floating shift. That means the escapement actually moves versus the carriage. And the carriage can get really clunky um, and heavy on your pinky if you have a lot of writing to do. So that's why I recommend if you are a book writer or you do lots and lots and lots and lots of writing, I highly recommend the Royal Quiet Deluxe. Um, especially the 1950s. Well, they're all in the 1950s pretty much. So um, you can't go wrong with these. Just make sure you get one that's in good condition. You can see this one's in excellent condition. We'll look at the uh, listing below and you'll see up close images so you can kind of look at everything I would have to do with this typewriter. Thanks so much for watching. We sure appreciate it. Have a good day.